Hi, folks. Welcome back to the Wrestling Mayhem Show. I am Papa Lunchbox, your uh, host for this short segment. Uh, we're going to take a little trip down memory lane. You know it. You love it. It's Remember When. We look off in the distance, waiting for the cycle, showing everybody's face. Sorgan, Amen, Mad Mike, too. We're all on the show this week, and we're back this week. Uh, I was uh, I spent a little time listening to uh, CM Punk's theme, Cult of Personality, and uh, and thinking about what exactly that song means. Now, personally, I think that song sucks balls, but it is hey. a good descriptor for CM Punk. Uh, he is excellent excellent on the microphone always has been and uh it got me thinking about uh about that term cult of personality uh and about charismatic wrestlers most charismatic wrestlers uh that we've had in uh, in professional wrestling as a whole and i'll kick things off uh and i want to mention jake the snake roberts if you go back and watch his promos in the old WWF and even before that in, uh, I think it was AWA, that man could cut a promo like nobody's business. You would have uh, people shouting and ranting and raving, and Macho Man is uh, well known for just babbling and going batshit during promos, which worked for him. Respect. <laughs> but uh, Jake the Snake Roberts, he was quiet and he was calculated. He didn't. Uh, he didn't ramble. He was captivating. It, worked, it really, it really, really worked for him. So my pick uh, for this week's remember when is uh, Jake the Snake Roberts, Mad Mike. Yes. Um, if I was actually going to go with some of these that are on the Facebook, but I'm going to go a completely different direction, and I'm going to say the American Dream, ladies and gentlemen, Dustin Rhodes. Because he's winding down the king and queen. It's such an alley and down the poking bean. Dusty Rhodes, like, they're not, the tape I used to watch when I was a little kid, SummerSlam 89, I used to watch that thing on repeat, like, forever and a day. It's not the best pay-per-view in the world, but it's the first one that I owned, like, as a person. So I know that thing, like, basically on a loop from the commentary, the matches, or anything. The only promo I remember is the promo that Dusty Rhodes cut on the Honky Tonk there. Just because, like, like, he looked goofy as fuck. He was wearing a police hat. He had handcuffs, and he was in black and yellow polka dots. But my God, did he draw me in. Like, he, I really thought he was going to beat the fuck out of Honky Tonk and then dance on his fallen corpse. And Dusty Rhodes, like, there's a reason that Bo Diggity was so angry, we didn't tell him Dusty Rhodes was talking last night on TV. He is the original, like, blue-collar guy. Like, he's the guy that can draw you in. Like, he's just fantastic as promos. Always has been, always will be. Eamon? Hi. Um, first, before I give my answer, I do also want to give credit to the Jake the Snake Roberts answer. I just watched the, um, the Pick Your Poison DVD that they did not i don't know how recent it was with jake roberts uh yeah the, i feel like those promos could hold up in like the modern era even and then also like in the 80s and stuff like that they were just really well-spoken promos um i'm gonna go for one that i guess is not obviously it's involved because of the era that i started watching wrestling but it's one that maybe not a lot of people will go for but i really always enjoyed their promo work is uh edge i really loved edge's stuff i don't remember edge really ever having a bad promo um mainly because i think the material that he was able to produce and a lot of the stuff like my big thing when it comes to a guy that can cut a promo um he spoke like i believe what he was saying like he was very big on that like i i could logistically you know in any sense of the word believe what he's saying and I always was very a big fan of his promo work, and you know, that along with his wrestling sort of made him the total package of that uh, that era where I started watching. Uh, Sorg, your pick. I have so many running through my head right now. I mean, uh... well, do you want to go to the Facebook before you say yours, Sorg? Well, I, I don't think I have three of them in my head. I don't think any of them are on the Facebook. Amazingly, 
Um, I, 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 I can play clean up here if you, if you want. Um, I, I, can we not? The Rock, no matter what you think of his most recent stuff, I mean, they, he oozed charisma, right? That's why everybody got into him. That's why everybody, you know, you know, started singing along with The Rock. You know, why everybody started started going along with it. Who said puppet? Who the fuck said puppet? <laughs> charismatic dude, especially when he's calling people Mother, assholes. I just saw that wow. pop. I just saw that pop up in the corner of the screen on my notification. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know you're talking about. It's not on the Facebook. No, it is no, now. It Refresh. Is. It was just put there. Um, I that, bet well, no, he's seriously, the one in the suit. It made me blindly forget all the rest of them I was going to say. Um, <laughs> oh, it was Riz. It oh, was Riz. God. You um, can curse at Riz. Riz will not be on the show for the next month and a half. No, he's I will. No, I will. Do a suspension of the wellness policy of the Mayhem show. Yes, yeah, so we'll give you a chance to come back on the show. Uh, in trying to beat uh, uh, LB in a hot dog eating contest. You'll ne- <laughs> Never going to happen, my friend, because I'm skipping the Franks, and I'm jumping right to your hot dog. No hands allowed. Don't. No hands allowed. <laughs> so I'll just leave it at, at the rock there, and we have a lot of answers <laughs> from the Facebook, Mike. Okay, I'm just going to do a quick rundown of who responded, and then in no particular order, who they said. We've got Bo Diggity, Bo Diggity responded, Alex Cars, Anthony Valvo, um, Texas Anarchy, Eamon responded, Tony Garza, uh, Riz, Jess, all of them responded. Now, what are some of these responses? Ric Flair, Bo Dallas, Los Matadores, Ultramantis Black, Steve Blackman, which um, the Bo Dallas one triggered Eamon saying, saying don't stop believing. And now that song is in all of your heads, too. I'm only doing that because Eamon did it. Blame him, not me. Uh, other okay. suggestions. Shawn Michaels on Coke, which no one can argue that. Lance Storm, the great Kali. Take a guess who said that one. Jumpin' Jeff Farmer, Johnny Stamboli, Christian, Brian Pillman, Ricky Banderas, Puppet, Shaggy Tudo, what? Uh, Larry, Larry Sweeney, and Enzo Amore. What? <laughs> <laughs> yep, the most charismatic people in wrestling, folks. AKA, and, only and two of us can Jeff take this Farmer question seriously. Makes our list. There you go. That's what happens when we like, let ahead it of Hulk Hogan. Ahead of Hulk Hogan. The board. Fuck Jeff Hulk Farmer. Hogan's charismatic, fucking Brinkley oh. ass. Russell fan, you weren't alive when Hulk Hogan was actually charismatic. Dude, man, I mean, okay, and and, and the the rest of us, other than Russell fan, that 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 that, that grew up in this era. Did you not when when you had Hulk Hogan talking about America and eating your vitamins, you got the chills, right? Yeah, but it wasn't well, char- it wasn't charismatic. It was just this dude yelling and no, he's no, talking no, crazy. No, no. That that's all he correct. had because he didn't have wrestling. Yeah, no, but it's not charismatic. It's just a, a Amen. different Amen. Amen. You're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it's like calling the Ultimate Warrior charismatic. Ultimate Warrior was no. charismatic. He was not charismatic. He was a psychopath. <laughs> yeah. So, are, Hulk Hogan, be charismatic? Are, you the awesome what are, we, are, we, are we thinking, are, do we all think charismatic means the same thing? Because I, I feel like we're... Because I'm, I'm just saying that charismatic doesn't necessarily mean known for your talking. No, no. I, yes, it, no, no. It's a yes, feel. It's a, fan, but I find it in the beginning of the segment as good on the mic. Okay, well... And charismatic. So, in this context, charismatic does mean good on the mic. Yes. Um, charismatic okay. also means being able to ca- to capture an audience. Well, yeah, yeah, charisma is like compelling attractiveness or charm yeah, that can inspire devotion in others. All right. Oh, Urban Dictionary defines charismatic as the perfect concoction of fun, oh, joy, peace, and wisdom. No, fun, joy, peace, and wisdom. If that doesn't define the ultimate warrior. I don't know what the fuck does. Guys, on that note, you can find your peace <laughs> and wisdom by supporting the Wrestling Mayhem Show with t-shirts. Yeah. Did that work, Did that work at all, guys? Is that yes. good segment. I, good oh, oh, Jess says uh, Jeff Hardy. Duh, he's a charismatic enigma. No, no, DNA doesn't. Yeah, his charisma is an enigma. It's in his name. <laughs> the only charismatic person in TNA is Dixie Carter. Yes, but Darn. as we can tell, uh, nobody seems to know what charisma means. So, 
There you go. T shirts. can be in his name all at once. <laughs> we have Wrestling Mayhem Show teasers at prowrestlingtees.com slash WMS. You can check them out. Good times at Wrestling Mayhem Show. Property to Mayhem and the good old logo.